Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how I 3D printed a bracket to secure my media player to the TV, so let's go. So with this TV, I didn't actually have anywhere to hang the media player. I created an STL file for my 3D printer for this bracket which I measured up against the TV. So now that the bracket's done, uh, what I'm going to do is actually mount the bracket to the TV. But I've taken everything down so I can plug it all in now and show you. So everything's just kind of dangling down. First thing I'm going to do is attach this bracket onto the TV. Now how I'm going to do that is with these 3M strips. Now that'll just hold it in place and I'll be able to pull it off at any stage if I need to. If I need to readjust it or just take it off completely. Now I've designed this so that this section here will actually touch the back of the TV and that'll actually become the point where it fixes on. So I can push that down, peel off the strip. So we can mount that on the top of the TV. Now you can measure to find the midpoint but I'm just going to eye mine up and that looks pretty good. I can push that down on the back and it's actually holding there now, which is good. So because the bracket goes nearly all the way to the back wall and we want the box to be flush with the front of the TV, we need to get the cables to come straight down. So what I've actually got is this network cable here, which has a right angle connector. And this Belkin 180 swivel HDMI adapter. Which allows us to go in any direction. And in this case we're going to go straight down. If we had the cable directly in, we're not going to... We're also going to need to have the curve on the cable which will go down the wall and it'll actually get in the way and push the whole unit forward. So let's try put it on the top. There we go. Now that's going to move as well. To stop this from moving, I can put a 3M strip underneath as well, which I'll do at the very end. But what I'll do is run the network. Network cable will plug into here. Pull the old one out. Power cable we can run into the top. Then all we need to do is get some cable ties and tie these cables out of the way. The cables are hidden now. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, watch these other videos, and I'll see you next time.